sorry, I missed out on that. Therefore, faith is an inner sense coming from the need of the divine in the subconsciousness. So faith is an inner sense. It's, it's inside of Frankenstein. And it's, it's being moved from below the inner, the inner consciousness. What did he say? Um, uh, faith is an inner sense coming from the need of the divine in the subconsciousness. I need something divine, therefore I fabricate from inside me something divine. Okay, now, how do I fabricate religion? This is where, it, how do I fabricate faith and revelation? This is where it really becomes whole. Here are the phenomena. Here are the phenomena, Divine Lord, excuse me, the phenomena of the Galilean carpenter. How is Frankenstein going to believe in the Galilean carpenter? Okay, like this. The, the phenomena of the Galilean carpenter got something. He, that, he's vibey. He's, he's the Galilean carpenter vibe of appearances make me vibrate. I begin to rock and roll. Something inside me is beginning to vibrate. So okay. So there's the 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 the, uh, the phenomena are vibey. Since they're they're special phenomena. There was something. There was something special about the Galilean phenomena. So. I begin to vibrate. The vibration makes my religious sense begin to, makes my gut begin to move. I begin to vibrate in tune with the phenomenon, with the, with the vibey phenomenon. My ins insides become vibey. My insides become vibey. And I vomit all over the, Gal the poor Galilean carpenter's appearances. I vomit, I vomit the God that I need. I have an inner need of God. These, these phenomena really make me vibrate. So I project upon the phenomena the God that I need. The God that I'm creating inside myself. And once the, I have projected my vomit to express the horribleness of the of this doctrine, once I project the the upon the phenomena, the God that I need, IHS, then that is revelation because what I have vomited all over the phenom his appearances comes back to me as revelation of the God that I need. So, uh, one vomit, two. Revelation and three faith. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? You know, that's the God I believe in is entirely the production of my own insides. What? What? Yes, that's what they think. On the basis of, see, I, I know nothing the other side of the phenomenon then it must be something of the phenomenon. It's the, vi the special vibiness, vibrationness, the special vibrations of the Galilean carpenter, which made me want to vomit all over him, uh, my religious sense. Once I vomit, I use the word, please excuse the word vomit, it's a horrible word, it's a horrible doctrine. It's, it's, a, it's madness. If what he's saying is that God is created by my need. And therefore, I use the word vomit because vomit is absolutely beneath the, it. It's, it's, it can have nothing to do with Almighty God. So, but I then I vomit all over him because of my religious need, because of the vibey phenomenon. That what once I vomited all over him, then appears to me the God that I need, the IHS, the God, the Savior. The man God that I need, that's revelation. And since God is now revealed to me, this is the God that I then believe in. So this is the new meaning of faith, and it's the new meaning of re revelation. Which is what you'll say. 
Let's breathe. We're coming close to the end tonight. We won't go any further tonight than just faith. Or we'll have a look at it then. Therefore, faith is an inner sense coming from the need of the divine in the subconsciousness, excited by the unknowable beyond certain phenomena, especially the Galilean phenomena, for instance, but it could be any phenomena. This sense produces the God that it then believes in. In this sense, in this respect, number eight, God is manifested or revealed. And therefore, revelation is the inner sense, God revealing himself to the soul. The re revelation is basically the product of the inner sense. It was my need which vomited, which revealed, and in which I now believe. I'm believing in the product of my inner sense. Therefore, religion is entirely subjective. Everything comes from inside. Therefore, his, his idea of Catholicism, that's fine. You've got an old-fashioned idea of Catholicism. That's what makes you vibe, vibrate, fine. He's got a completely revolutionary idea of Catholicism. That's what makes him vibrate. That's what he needs. That's fine. No problem. <coughs> It, it's what you, whatever you believe is entirely up for grabs. Uh, revelation, or it, it, in the same sense, God is manifested or revealed. Therefore, therefore, eight. In this sense, God is manifested or revealed because I now see my vomit ahead of me and in front of me. Therefore, revelation is this inner sense, God revealing Himself to the soul. And therefore, consciousness is revelation, and the supernatural is natural. My in internal processes are all natural. These internal processes have projected the God that reveals himself to me and that I then believe in. It's all entirely, it comes from inside, it's all entirely natural. Now normally God is sup supposed to be supernatural. Therefore whatever supernatural means, it means the same thing as natural. Therefore the meaning of the word supernatural is going to be completely changed. And the supernatural is going to be wiped out. If everything comes from me, then everything, I belong entirely to the natural order, then everything is natural. Therefore, uh, consciousness is revelation, and the supernatural is natural. Uh, attack, attra attracted by the unknowable beyond, faith transfigures and disfigures the phenomena. These are the phenomena of a Galilean carpenter. That's the reality. That's the historical reality. Anything more, I don't know. But I project upon the, these phenomena what my inner needs need. And therefore, um, I was attracted by the unknowable beyond. There was something special about these phenomena. There's something, there's just a special attraction. I don't know what it is, but it's attractive. It makes me project upon those phenomena of my, my religious need. And therefore, all supernature is natural is um, emanated from, na from nature. Therefore, the supernatural, there's nothing supernatural. And that, that's entirely logical. But there are things that are supposedly supernatural. The supposedly supernatural is in fact natural, according to the modernist doctrine. Not according to Catholic doctrine. Be careful. For Catholics, the supernatural is God's gift of God to us. The natural, the natural is God's gift of us to us. It's a beautiful way of describing the difference between the supernatural and the natural. God's gift of God to us and God's gift of us to us. God's gift of us to us is the natural. God's gift of God to us is the supernatural. Faith, hope, charity, the state of grace, and so on. The Holy Eucharist. Therefore, it follows number 10, all religions come from the inner sense, and all supernature emanated from nature. What follows if all religions come from the inner sense? Is Catholicism going to be any better than any other religion? No. If all religions are authenticated by coming from inside, then if a Hindu really, really is vibing when he believes in his Hinduism, that's, that's, that's good. It's good. And if a Catholic is not vibing, if he isn't vibing when he believes in his Catholicism, his Catholicism is dead. So we've got to ride, ride down the, the, the altar on, on a motorbike in order to get his religion vibing again. It's only when he's vroom, vroom, vroom inside that he's going to have real Catholicism. Does the system hang together? Uh, the system is mad. But can you see how it hangs together? It, it, it follows very logically. 
interesting thing about Pashendi, we were taught at the seminary. Uh, an, old, an older priest was teaching us, and he said, uh, this was back in the 70s, and he must have been in his 60s at that time, maybe. So he knew the church before the council. And he said, in the times before the council, if the modernists wanted to explain to some disciple their system, they said to the disciple, if you want to understand us modernists, go and read Pashendi. What? Go and read the condemnation of the whole system, because it's such a darn good explanation. See, and Pius X will say at a given point, the modernists pretend that, that they're compelled to arrive at all these conclusions, but they don't have a system. They pretend that their, their ideas don't hang together, that there are no guidance, essential principles on, from which all, all else follows. Pashendi shows that it's a complete system. It's a complete system. Following on Kant. It's following on the wrecking of the mind. The declaring that the mind is incapable of knowing anything the other side of the phenomenon. Which is to cripple the mind and to liberate the mind at the same time. Liberty, liberty, liberty. Kant was a great man for liberty. He liberated men from God. He, liber he liberated men's minds from God. He liberated men's, men's, men's hearts from the Ten Commandments. Great liberty. But man. And diabolical. Diabolically man. Uh, stay tuned. We continue tomorrow. Same time, same place.